Hey guys, welcome to our Kiki Notes. In the previous video, we have seen how to configure Tomcat server and how to start with Java web application. In this particular video, we're going to take this problem statement. That means we need to create a HTML page for login purpose. And then if the username password matches, then we need to forward that particular user to the next page, means the profile page. And then if not, uh, we need to display the login page for him to try again fine so we're gonna use uh, the static login credentials for this so this is how the project hierarchy is going to be and you know that this is the project name and uh, web xml web.xml file and we're gonna have two servlets in one servlet we're gonna have the logic the static username password and then the logic to forward him to this uh, i mean forward the user to this profile that means welcome servlet page okay and then we're going to design the login page in this index.html file so let's get started what i'm going to do is file new project and java web under java with ant okay so please select it carefully and then we're gonna say web application next and then i'm saying that a login login okay or else forward login something like this and then next and here the server is configured in the last video you should check it out how to configure the tomcat server for that if you haven't checked it and then say next no need to select any of the frameworks as of now click on finish done so you got this project name here and then this is the content context.xml file which has the path context path of our folder project folder and then web information is empty right now because we need to create servlets right so let us create servlets as similar to this uh, file so login check servlet so let us create the servlet first right click on source packages and select servlet and let me name it as it is login check servlet all right let's say next and it, we know that it is mandatory to click this checkbox to add this servlet information with url patterns and all those things into this web.xml file click on finish the moment you do that you will see this web.xml file if you open this web.xml file you see this the servlet information the first servlet information and the servlet mappings got added now if you create another servlet uh, right click servlet and what is a servlet name that is welcome servlet so i'm going to create welcome servlet next and then again add the servlet information into this web.xml if you miss to click this one then it will not add these information into this web.xml file you need to manually enter the code fine so click on finish and now just check the xml file you can see that it has added both the servlet information this is the first servlet and this is the second servlet and similarly for the mappings all right now we are done with this web.xml file and uh, let me close all these things okay so we have this uh, index.html file we know that we need to create a login we, we have mentioned that we need to create a login page for this so uh, step two is to create two servlets we have done and uh, this web.xml uh, file also done we have checked it now the task is to create this form so the form is that whenever i submit uh, means whenever i click on the submit button the action should be you know should get uh, into this login check servlet means it goes to our first servlet where we're gonna write some logic with the username password okay and then i'm going to use get method and this is like label like enter name enter password which is going to be displayed in the html page and this particular text tag is for uh, text um, field that means username and this is the name of the text uh, box that txt uname and similarly i have uh, it for password and then i have one submit button with the name login okay okay yeah. fine so here 
what I'm going to do is uh, I'll just take this code for time being. Um, now, either you can completely delete this and you can just use this code. It it works. Or if you want to have uh, these HTML tags and all, so you can write the code after this, or you can even remove this. Or if you want to have some title, you can have some title over here. So let me just paste the code over here, right? And and you can see that my fine. Okay, let me just do it. All right. Now this is the HTML page. We are done with HTML page uh, with two text fields and one button. All right. Now we need to mention the logic here. You can see that login check servlet. Uh, we have discussed that there are three types of servlets. Uh, let me show you here. I'm opening login check servlet. So there are two main packages. One is import java x dot servlet dot start. And then the second package is this one import java x dot servlet dot http dot star. Okay, so we can do this in two lines, right? Uh, but this code is, I mean, these packages are automatically generated. So if you want to minimize the number of lines, you can do that. Fine. And this is the class name, which extends by default, it extends HTTP servlet. There are three types of servlets. One is HTTP servlet, generic servlet, and the third one is just servlet. Okay. We're going to understand the difference between these servlets in the next video. So uh, let's go down and you can see that there is the process request method. So every method, I mean, we have three methods here again. One is process request. And if I open this, you can see that do get and do post method. So all the three methods are able to, you know, send the request. Like if you use process request, it uses HTTP request and HTTP response. Similarly, for do get, we're going to have the same like HTTP servlet request and HTTP servlet response. And for do post, again, it is same, HTTP servlet request and HTTP servlet response, which means we need to send a request and we need to get the response as well. So uh, you can use any one of this method. We will try to understand the importance of these methods again from the next video onwards. So as of now, I'll, I have just minimized this. So I have this process request um, method. And in this, I'm going to delete all these things. Okay, so here instead of system dot dot print I'm going to use print writer uh, class uh, so that uh, this is my reference. So wherever I want to print something, I'm going to say out dot print Okay, now let's see the code. Now this is my logic. Mm, like I need to have two variables, like username and then password. I'm saying request dot get parameter, and this is the name of the text. Well, field or text box which we have created in the index.html hope you remember this so we need to use the same name so whichever the user types or whatever the user types we gonna get that one so i'm gonna take this code again uh okay oops have an issue with this mouse okay i'm gonna take this and let me just put it here. So you will get this sort of error. Uh, we'll come to that error. Let me just align this in a proper way. Though it works, but I want to just put this one in. Yeah, now there are two variables and I'm saying request.get parameter. And uh, this is these two are the text box names. And now I have a static username and then password. If my username is equal to ABC and if my password is equal to one, two, three, then I'm going to allow the user. I'm saying valid user. And then now I need to forward. There are two methods in request. Request dispatcher is a concept uh, we're gonna use here. So it has two methods, forward and include. If the username and then password matches, I need to forward the user to next page. So the next page is what? Here it is, welcome servlet. So you need to specify the name of that particular servlet here as it is, okay? And then if the username password is wrong, then I need to say request dispatcher. I need to show the same login page for the user again. So I'm saying index.html. That is our page, a login page we have designed. 
So I'm using include method for that, getting the request and response. So this particular error, you have to just import the package for request dispatcher. So click on this. And then let's say add import for Java export servlet dot request dispatcher. Just click on that. The error will vanish. Okay. Now we are done with this particular uh, code for the servlet, login check servlet. Now in welcome servlet, what should I do? Uh, I just want to display the username with welcome message. So the thing is that you have to just say that our dot print a welcome and then you have to say request dot get parameter and again the text box name the user text box name so what i'm going to do is in welcome servlet again I will, i'll remove all these things if you wish to use or uh, you can you know even here you can just mention it or if you feel that this is messy just remove all the code and then just use whatever you want so that's it now it is going to display in heading one and uh, welcome request dot get parameter method and then it is going to get whatever the user have entered obviously the username should be abc right because that is what the static password we have mentioned that's it we are done with this um, so now you have to run the file you know project so how to do that just right click on the project name and then run once you run it will start the tomcat for you and then click on ok then it is going to display this page i want to show you something else even here in services you should check under servers the tomcat it, it shows that green mark here right which means the tomcat is started already fine so if you want to refresh or restart you can do that over here this is just for your information now let's continue with this now, if I say my name is Ravi, and then if I say some password like this and login, it is going to show some message that you have your password or username is wrong. And it is using include method and it is displaying the same login page for me. And in case if my username is ABC and if my password is 123, and if I click on login, it is going to show this message. So now we can see that. Uh, this is our local host 8080 is the tomcat port number fwd login is my project name login check servlet is the uh, first servlet where we have included the username and then password but there is some problem you have if you notice this you see this it is displaying whatever uh, the values which i have entered over there in username and then password right basically this is not secure it should not it is exposing my username password in the url basically it should not so we'll be using a method for that we use do post method so just you have to you know move your code to do post method so that it will not happen so that we will try to understand um, by the next video all right so you can try this one this is your first uh, task um, in web uh, you know application so try this and let me know if you get any errors you might get something like 404 error or uh, you know 405 error so in that case uh, either one of your servlet name while mapping the url you might have mapped it wrong or else while specifying the means while forwarding uh, the request to a particular servlet you might have done some spelling mistakes over here so it might not work properly so you need to check it out fine and also you can do change this methods here like do post do get and you can try uh, what i mean the what sort of output you are going to get if you have any queries do let me know in the comment section um thank you and thanks for watching the video hit the like button if you like the video see you in the next video